this will be a fire alarm unboxing of the Kida K270 SPO manual fire alarm pull station. So everything that you get in your box is your um, two screws, a brake rod, your pull station itself, and this is from Kida, and your manual. Um, obviously I have already opened this, so you might, so when I got it, the pull station was wrapped in some kind of paper, and there is a little cardboard thing here, but I took that off because I wanted to open it and then I just basically packed everything back up to show you guys. So this pull station, if I can get it to stay, is a conventional fire alarm pull station. Now unlike my uh, Mercom pull station with the key, this one actually has a screw lock in the top. So in case if you don't know what th that is, it's basically a screw, but it's not like the BG12 where you have to unscrew it and then screw it back in. It's spring loaded. So all you have to do is take your screwdriver in this, in this, put it in the screw here, line it up, and then turn it to the left, and that's it. You don't even have to turn it a full turn. On the inside, you have a to test label, so, you, so there's instructions on how to test the unit. And then right here is a uh, little bit of a warning sticker. What's nice about this is right here, I'm not too sure if you can see, but it says normal at the bottom. So that helps to clarify that the switch is in the off position, which is really nice. On the, oh, there's not too much stuff going on right here, but actually, right here, is some instructions on how to put in the brake rod. So I'll, I'll show you how to do that right now. Um, so basically you want to take your brake rod out of your little baggie um, and then so you see this little little metal piece right here? I'm going to lift that up and when you do it it opens this little thing up right here. It's like a little door or flap. You just stick your brake rod in and you have to make sure that your pull station is not pulled because that way the switch will actually break or the uh, handle will actually break the rod in case of an emergency which is very nice and you just pop the, the uh, lift cover back down and then close it up it makes a little snap and then your brake rod is in your pull station and you can't open it from the outside and get it out so I'm going to go ahead and take that out now. On the back of the pull station, which I'll show you now. So now we're on the back of the pull station. It's made in China and tested. I, I don't really know what this means right here. Um, whether if it's a date or maybe like a time or something. Or the uh, amount of pull stations that have been made. So 21,021 pull stations. I don't know. Maybe it could be a date. Maybe like... Uh, February 10th, 2021. Right here, you can see uh, the label. It says Kitta. And then the model number is right here. Uh, right there. It says K270SPO. I'll maybe move the wire so if you can see better. It says K270SPO. Which is nice. And right here is your screw terminals. So this is different than some other ones that you may see. So what you gotta do is your white is uh, positive, black is negative. So what you wanna do is plug this wire into this terminal here for your positive, and this wire into here for your negative. And on the inside, you can kinda see there. So, and our switch is down, so that's nice. So how you pull this fire alarm is very simple. You just do this. 
and boom, your fire alarm is pulled. That is probably one of the easiest fire alarms, in my opinion, that I have in my collection to pull. So, that is nice. And then to reset it, what you gotta do is you stick your screwdriver in and open it. You have to, this is not spring loaded, so you have to push it back up and then flip the switch down to normal. You have to flip the switch down to normal because if you don't and you just close it, you can cause the the uh, pull station to break, which isn't good. And then to and then closing it, you just snap it in. Anyways, that has been a review of the Kita K270SBO. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.